Hello and welcome back to OMSI 2, Add on London, I'm Joe and today you find us sat here at Oxford Circus in a wonderful Abellio London Enviro 400 about to work the Route 3 from Oxford Circus down towards Crystal Palace. Now the Route 3 is operated as I say by Abellio London, it runs services up to every 7 minutes and according to the allocation sheet that comes with OMSI 2 we can use an Enviro 400 or a new route master. Well I think you all know by now that out of the two the Enviro 400 is the bus for me. I do much prefer it operationally to the route master. So let's have a look at our schedule which is down here. So we're due out at 12.11 from Oxford Circus. We're due in to Crystal Palace at about 13.06 so just under an hour's running time. Quite a lengthy route this one. I'd go as far as to say the longest on the map. Uh, I know that it does come close to 68 again. I'm just purely going off how long the, the coloured lines are here on the uh, the actual the route map. The 68 looks like quite a contender for that, quite a lengthy route. All the rest of the routes tend to be about 35 minutes long in running time, so this is definitely, as I say, the longest route. Bit of a treat as well for you today. There has been an update for the Enviro 400. Well, there was an update for Add on London in general. Uh, today we are in a ZF Enviro 400. Let's knock the lights off. We don't need the lights on. There we go. Leave the side lights on. Yeah, we're in a ZF uh, gearbox, which uh, if you're not too familiar with uh, with bus gearboxes, Voith, you tend to have more of a whistly gearbox, whereas the ZF is more of a wooing. You also have, um, uh, you'll, you'll hear that when we get going. The ZF, of course, also has more gears. You tend to get a, a 6, a 7 speed, whereas the Voith tends to only be 3 or 4 speed. So you have more gears in a ZF that change up and down a lot quicker, uh, which is all well and good. Uh, yeah, great. So, uh, so yeah, let's crack on with things. So we're due out in around 5 minutes, so I shall skip time ahead by about 2 minutes. There we go and we shall pull round to the bus stand. Now, uh, one thing that I should note, if you actually listen to the gearbox, it's not set up correctly. Now you're going to say, well, what do you mean by that? How do you, how do you mean it's, it's not set up correctly? Talk to us about that. Well, a double-decker and a single-decker gearbox are set up differently, and you can hear that. If you hop on, for instance, a right Gemini with a B7TL on a, v, on a B7TL even and you listen to the, the, the ZF you don't get the wooing noises so much on double deckers it's just a you know and I'm talking about modern double deckers here you, you look at like it depends on the gearbox but if you look at older double deckers you obviously do but yeah next time you're on a ZF and Viral 400 just listen you don't tend to get the wooing like what you will hear on this particular version of the Enviro. Uh, you tend to only get the wooing noise on single deckers. So, I mean, the Enviro 200, or sorry, the London City Bus 200, has also had this update. You can drive a City Bus 200 with a ZF. I might do that later. Ooh. But uh, yeah, so that sounds all right. Whereas this version of the City Bus 400. I just don't think sounds quite right. For all the ZF Enviro 400s I've been on, the, the wooing is not really there, it's a lot more subtle. And uh, sadly we don't seem to have that on this. It's a lot louder, as you would find on a single decker. You also, uh, I don't know, is it just me or that when you look left, your first view seems a lot more left. Didn't it only used to go to about there? See, I used to quite like that. Is it me? Have they changed that? Three, two, oh, here she is. Palace. Perhaps they've not changed that. Perhaps that's me going insane, but I, I'll have to go back and watch one of my old videos. But yeah, I'm sure that the head movement's a lot more to the left than it used to be. Oh well, there we go. So here we are, this is Oxford Circus. Oxford Circus Station by the looks of things. I uh, 
Oh, and we've got a nice little symbol there saying that this is central London. Well, where's the station? Is, is the station here? It'll be here somewhere. I don't think they'd uh, call it Oxford Circus Station. Oh, is this it down here? That it? Ah, there it is. Very nice. And there it is on the corner. Well, I'd probably say that was the station bus stop rather than all the way up here. But there we go. I didn't make London, so there we go. Right, on we go, my friends. Straight into some lag. <laughs> oh dear, I really hope that this doesn't spell out how this uh, this trip's going to be. Let's get some blindage going here. And are one of you fellows, one of you very kind fellows, are you going to let me in? The answer is probably not. No, definitely not. Oh, well, this isn't good. We could be here for a while. No, we're, we're pulling out in front of this taxi. Thank you, sir. I don't think he wanted to let us out there. We'll give him a... Uh, Street, Toy Store. Give him a little flash of the, uh, the thank you lights. So we don't stop here. Ah, so that is the station as well. That is also named the station, but obviously we don't stop there, so... Uh, Ooh, so the next stop's Hamley's Toy Store, the uh, the famous toy shop in London. See, this for me, this is more London. And you're like, well, well, what are you on about? Of course it's London. You, you're playing OMSI 2, add on London, you buffoon. Whoops, that was a bit of curb. Well, yeah, I know that, but, but this is central London. This is what I think when I think London. You know, big tall buildings either side, lots of famous landmarks like Hamley's and... Where else do we go? Trafalgar Square, that's another popular one, isn't it? You know, this to me is London. I don't think we go over the bridge next to Westminster on the Route 3. I think that's under the 159 that does that. Nobody getting on? Okay, fair dues, we'll carry on. I mean, there's no need to rush us, so we're just plodding along. Piccadilly Circus. Again, Piccadilly Circus, that's another one. All famous places. I tend to find when you get out Brixton way, there's... You know, there is still famous things. You know, famous London-y things. But you find that they, they crop up less. This is more of a sightseeing tour for me. Oh, there's somebody that wants our bus. Well, we'd better stop for him, haven't we? Yeah, I don't like that camera angle, how it... It flips very violently to the left here. Are you getting on? Come on, I'm, I'll move it forward for you. Is that good enough? Well, why are you stood there? Why march up to the bus? Three, two, Crystal Palace. Nope, well, okay, you've had your chance. I even moved the bus for you. And that is normally, you know, that is a lot nicer than I usually am. I'm very much a case of, if, you, if you're getting on, then get on. If you're not, then then just get stuffed. You know, we've, we've got a timetable to run. Now, there will probably be some hardcore bus, uh, bus enthusiasts watching. And uh, I'm not... Au fait with my uh, street. with my London buses. I mean, that's no secret. I I do have a you know I do have a big interest in buses, but sadly, London buses. I don't know the first thing about them. So if this video is causing you to you know secretly, spontaneously self combust inside with anger at the fact that maybe a belly of London don't have ZF Enviros, I am sorry about that. This this video was more about me thinking, can I showcase the ZF Enviro, and uh, and if so, how can I do it, what route haven't we done yet, and I thought, oh well that'll be a nice route to do it on, whoa, that focus is not letting you out, you don't even need to be in that lane, it's fine. Yeah, so, so we're not really going by accuracy on this video, uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're just not, I just thought, oh well that uses Enviros, and we can showcase the Enviro on that route. God, the road could do with being, uh, being redone. A bit bumpy. So yeah, I apologise. If you are sitting watching, 
You know, and you're thinking to yourself, well, he's using the ZF, and Abelio don't have ZF Enviros. I'm going to complain. Then uh, please do vent your anger in the comments. Uh, I, I can't say I'll take much notice of it, because like I said, that was my uh, my little declaration. It's not factually accurate. Uh, so, But yes, if it does drive you to the point where you feel you need to complain, the comments are where to do so. Three, oh, we've two, committed. Crystal Palace. Trafalgar Square, Charing Cross Station. You also found that this particular section of town, uh, I, I was very impressed with the performance. I have then said that, as I've just said it, uh, it seems to be dropping through the floor. But yeah, this particular section of town is a very resource intense. You know, there's a lot going on, a lot of big buildings, a lot of splines, etc. Right, so we go down here, don't we? Look at that, that was a bit of alright. Oh, we're a bit early, so we will stop at the timing point. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll also stop at the bus stop because I've just noticed someone wants to get off. Very good. Three, two, Crystal Palace. So this is Trafalgar Square. I wonder if they've added a, uh, a Nelson on top of the column. Well, I tell you what, let's pause and, uh, and have a look. Because last time I came through, there was no Nelson. Nope, still no Nelson. Look at that, Nelson's fallen off his column. Yeah, I don't know, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Do you reckon they're aware that somebody's, uh, somebody's crept in in the night and stolen Nelson? So this is Trafalgar Square, obviously, uh, for those of you that don't know London, which is technically me, I don't really know London, but I do know Trafalgar Square, I can, I can identify when we are at Trafalgar Square. And uh, nothing's moving at all, traffic-wise. You know, we've got a 139 over there that I think says gold is green on the front. And, uh, oh, right, all the traffic lights are going to turn green at the same time, I imagine. There we go. So I think we'll just, uh, we'll just mooch across into this lane. I mean, it says this lane turns right, doesn't it? So, uh, so we'll, we'll go right in this lane. And I have actually visited this street because, uh, I stood about here, trying to take pictures of buses, and they come off that roundabout and just floor it. Oh, hang on. Right. I didn't read which route stops here and which one doesn't. But we shall see if they get on the bus. They don't get on the bus. What's it say? I can't. 3, 59 and N3 only. Yeah, why, why are you not getting on? Fair dues. Three, two, Crystal Palace. I just find it very bizarre that, you know, there was all those people. I thought that this would be a really busy route. Pop the blind up now. The sun's gone away, hasn't it? Typical Britain. Are you, uh, you know, are you going to the traffic lights there? Good, thank you. Oh, what on earth's happening? It's, it's a bit jerky on the ZF when it changes gears, but to be honest with you, most buses that I've driven Whitehall, that have the ZF gearbox are Watch very similar. The the oh, red light. Stop at the red light. Where are we here? So this is, uh, this is Horse Guards Parade, where they have the... Uh, Changing of the guards. There we go. Promise you, Horse Guards Avenue. 
That's that's where they all have the uh, the the big black things on their heads, the the Marge Simpson hats, as uh, as I call them. And they they change over there, and there's you know there's a ceremony, and everybody gets very oh look, tourists come and take pictures, that sort of thing. There's a lot of tourists taking pictures in London. And of course now the sun's back out, we can't see where we're going. Oh my god, somebody is actually walking up to the bus stop, somebody wants the number three. Come on then my dear, it's, it's practically an empty bus. There you go, hello. I've just realised we're, uh, we are running a little bit late, we need to sort that. We need to sort that if possible. Square. Oh, and more people. Jolly good. Well, that's fine. You know, I, I don't like a full bus, but I do like to kind of feel like I am. it's worthwhile me being here. Oh, no. Sorry, missed it now, son. Three. Look, every time you set off it, it does that kind of three jerks. And just move across. So the 159 turns left here, and uh, and that goes over Westminster Bridge. You've got the, the Houses of Parliament on your left here. And uh, there's a lot of people in Houses of Parliament that uh, that get paid an awful lot of money for uh, for basically bollocksing things up, which is all good. Got Westminster, uh, is that Westminster Abbey? Possibly. I don't know. This is where I'm going to say it's Westminster Abbey. It might not be, uh, but yeah. I mean, I'm trying to be tourist here, but I don't just want to be telling you the wrong thing. Like, oh yes, there's St Paul's Cathedral over there. In fact, is that St Paul's Cathedral? Nope, that's uh, that's Westminster Abbey. Still, is it? Uh, nope, we're uh, we're just scraping along the curb there. Yeah, I don't know to be honest with you. If you want to find out factual, correct information about London, may I suggest that you look it up on the internet rather than watching uh, a northerner drive buses. That's that's not a good source of factual information. Crystal Palace. Horseberry Road. So yeah, the uh, the Route Three doesn't go over the you know the super famous bridge. This kind of goes over a less good bridge. He says it might be equally as famous, but I've never heard of it. So. Uh, well, I probably have heard of it, but I can't rattle off the name. Take your handbrake off. Gotta work a treat now, you see. Now, where are we going? Do, does that say left? Yes, it does. Right. Three, two, Crystal Palace. Lambeth Palace. A light here for yeah, see, this bridge is clearly just not as good as the other one, is it? I mean, that one goes past the eye. This is like the crap bridge that nobody's bothered about. You know, there's, there's no tourists stood at the side taking pictures, look. They're all over there photographing this. Oh, yes, yeah, look at all the, uh, all the people over there on the rubbish bridge. I'm going to stay in the left-hand lane here. Because uh, the right-hand lane does scare me. I feel like the, there'll be impatient people trying to overtake. And then there'll be a bus in the right-hand lane and they'll all be there shouting, Come on, get in the left-hand lane, you're a bus. You shouldn't be in the right-hand lane. How dare you? Uh, so, yeah, I'm very panicky in the right-hand lane. And I know they're virtual people. They can't hurt me. But I don't want to disrupt their virtual lives. 
Oh, it's another church here. Look on the left. Pretty nice. So yeah, by the looks of things, we can from the left hand lane we can go across there and then we we turn left here. So I think the left hand lane is the place to be. Excuse me, my green lights get stuffed. Take it nice and steady. I find this is a lot harder to drive when uh, you know when you want to look left just to glance and check your mirror, and it just flies you over to the left. Let's see, are you all getting on? No, popular at Lambeth Palace, isn't it? That might be Lambeth Bridge, you know. Because it says Lambeth Palace, which is not a palace, it's a church. Or an office block. Uh, but yeah, for Lambeth BDG, which means bridge. Right, let's, uh, let's look left like that. We'll, we'll pop you there. There we go, so we can look forward and then left like that. And then whatever I do, don't press spacebar or it'll undo my handiwork. There we go, excellent. Right, doors shut, off we go kids. Hold on, ding ding and all that jazz. Pratt Walk. You'd imagine Pratt Walk would be the name of the road outside uh, outside Houses of Parliament, wouldn't you? I'm not bitter. I promise. I promise you, I'm not bitter. Whoa, let's uh, let's just not smack the bus up the curb. Handbrake on. Doors open. No, nope, you you didn't put your handbrake on there. Try again. Hello everybody. Oh dear. What unfortunate looking children. I do need to, I, I know I say this like a lot of the time, I need to get round to downloading the additional people that you can get on the Steam store, but I think there's your three jerks for setting off. I think £6.50 is so much money just for some people. I mean is it just me? All it is is textures, so it's not like, I mean have they modelled new people? Yeah, your, your cars are sticking out into the bus lane there. Well, perhaps they have modelled some new people, but... Uh, I just think £6.50, when you can have a bus for 12 quid. You know, in some cases you can have a new map for that amount of money, for 12 quid. Just for some AI people seems a lot of money. Right, we'll let you go past in your Mercedes, and then we'll, uh... Oh, three jerks. Three. I mean, I'm not accelerating particularly fast, it has to be said. Kennington Road, Imperial War Museum. Ah, so we've joined on with the rest of the routes now, so that right turn has brought us onto the, like, the main corridor, as it were, down through Brixton. Oh no, what have you done that? You've, you've messed up with your light position in there. Oh, the lights are going green, that's fine. Now what's this chap doing? Because usually they wait until I've just pulled up. How are you getting on? Oh, okay, fair dues. Well, at least you walk down to the bus stop, which is more than they normally do. Right, okie dokie, off we go. Let's, uh, let's go round him.
Can we get rounded? Yes, we can. I imagine we've just hit some of those cones. But as we didn't see it, I don't think there's any need to report it. Fitzalan Street. Another bit of bumpy road. Oh, and of course, on, on this this particular route, we're going to hit all the traffic lights, aren't we? The, uh, the replace not replacement, that's, uh, yeah, you're thinking of something else there. We're going to hit all the roadworks. Just brilliant, isn't it? Are we, uh, yeah, are we done? You're not getting on, you're just walking past, that's fine. Three, two, Crystal Palace. Oh, and turn green just as we get there. Very nice indeed. Kennington Lane. It does definitely sound good, the Enviro 400, when you put your foot down. Regardless of whether you have a ZF or a Voith, it, it does sound good. Nobody getting on or off? Fair dues. Well, as we arrived at the timing point, bang on. Uh, I see very little reason why we should stop. Windmill Row. Oh yes, Windmill Row that doesn't actually have any windmills on it. Well, there you go. Maybe it used to have windmills. Back in day. Nobody getting on, fair dues. Park Post Office. Just watching what that uh, what that car does in my rear view mirror. And sometimes they can come speeding past you and just cut in at the last minute. You're like, oh yeah, cheers for that, thanks. Yeah, really appreciated that. Just cutting me up. Oh dear, they've missed the lights. How unfortunate. Three, two. Yeah, you nearly press the space bar there. Nearly press the space bar. Then we'd have had to reset our lovely, you know, mirror views that we've got going on here. Oh, off we go. I mean, I know it says nowhere. Ah, I worked out what the blue things were as well. Uh, the, you know, the random blue. It's a cycle lane. And I'm not just saying that because it's got a bike in it. I actually watched, um, watched a fella on YouTube that explained about these cycle highways that they have in London. Now, that's going to sound like, well, yeah, did you only just work that out? Well, yeah, I did. I, I think it's a really good idea, you know, especially when they're segregated from the road. I think when they're integrated with the road at the same time, that's not necessarily such a good idea for a cycle highway because, uh, you know, a lot of drivers can be very aggressive and not very tolerable at all. And, uh, you know, it, it does work both ways. I'm a big believer of if we all showed each other a little bit more compassion whilst on the roads, uh, they'd be a lot nicer, you know, car drivers shouldn't get so fed up with cyclists. Uh, but at the same time, cyclists shouldn't be, you know, irritating ourselves. We, you, we should all just get on. You know, we, we see, I drive to work down a, a windy country road, and you find some cyclists are very considerate, you know, and they just get on with it, no messing about, and that's fine. Whereas you get some that are just deliberately irritating, you know, and they're like, oh, I'm a cyclist, I'm better than you, you know, I'm cycling and not polluting and that makes me better. Well, yeah, I'm polluting so deal with it. But, you know, at the same time, I normally try and, you know, give them lots of space but I imagine as a cyclist they get, you know, women, middle-aged women in Range Rovers that leave them 
10 centimetres of space and they think, you know, their life flashes before their eyes, like, oh, we're going to get knocked off. So it, it does work both ways. It definitely does work both ways. But I just think we should all be a little bit nicer. Oh, sorry, you guys want to get off, don't you? Just checking. Just seeing how long I could keep you on the bus before you started to panic. Three, two, yeah, I think if we were all a little bit nicer to each other, then, uh, then the world would be a happier place, especially on the roads. I think it's probably something as well to do with um, to do with the fact that uh, you know behind a car, when you're in a car, you feel kind of a bit invincible, don't you? Because you you know there's glass between you and other drivers, you know. So I think people are a lot more they kick off a lot more. Is it just me? Yeah, maybe. It's just an an observation of mine, one of Joe's little uh, bountiful tidbits of knowledge. It's not really knowledge, is it? It's just an observation. Another fella getting on the bus. It is a timing point. I'm sure you've read it for yourself on the directions. But, uh, yes, I thought we'd better wait. We'll go a little bit early. It doesn't matter, does it? We're going to get stuck in all these roadworks down here anyway. Oh, you press space bar, you goon. There we go, that'll do. Oh, look at the time. Hold on a second. Look. One, two, three, four. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is exciting. It's exciting stuff. Hold on a second. We'll even pause it. Ah, there you go, look at the time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't that exciting? Come on, be excited. It only happens once a day. You also get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, it, do it doesn't work with 6, 7, does it? Because you, you can't have more than... You can't have more than 60 seconds in a minute. Right, we need to tell them. Oh, this is working. This didn't used to work, but this is working in the Enviro now. Three, there we go. Two, Crystal Palace. The next bus stop is closed. There we go. You, you press spacebar again. Stop doing that. That's really annoying when you do that. You know, you said to the lovely ladies and gentlemen that you weren't going to press the space bar, and you keep pressing the space bar. So, you know, just, just cease and desist. Thank you. Get your mouse out of the blinds. There, much better. Temporary traffic lights. There's something not very temporary about these traffic lights. I don't know if you've noticed, but they do seem to be here every time we come through. It would be nice if on the bus stop where it says do not stop, they uh, they actually got some people to spawn there and like, you know, be like, hey, hey, I want this bus. Because, I mean, you hap it happens in real life. You know, people that just don't read what it says on the bus stop. And then they stand there waiting for the bus and it goes sailing past, you know. It would be, it would just add that extra little bit of enjoyment to Omsi. Uh, oh, sorry, I wish I could stop, but you know, the bus stop's closed, so if only you'd have read the sign, you'd have gone to the next bus stop, and then you'd have made it, whereas now you're stood in the cold, and let's just turn down the heating a little bit more. I've just realised it is 30 degrees in the bus, so that's quite hot. Turn the fans up. Because yes, I have sussed out how to uh, how to actually work the uh, Enviro 400 temperature gauge. I, uh, I glossed over it before. I was looking for the little traditional OMSI dials with the red and blue on them. And uh, then I got shouted at in the comments for, you know, for going past it. And I've just realised that fan is not helping at all. So we're just going to turn it off. And we'll do a good old fashioned window opening.
Are you for this one, my dear? Uh, no, I don't think she is, but we'll use this opportunity while we're at the bus stop to get those windows open. Let's have a look. Where are we? Uh, one and two. We'll pop one downstairs. We'll open the front one as well, get a nice breeze through. Three, That'll two, do. Christmas. That'll do. They'll all whinge now. Oh, it's too cold on this bus. And to be fair, I'm surprised they've not started kicking off that it's too hot. I know it's not a timing point, but uh, yeah, I just thought we'd we'd do that while we were at that bus stop, get it done, and then uh, hopefully we won't have to wait so long at the next timing point. Now uh, I don't know if you've noticed as well, but we have actually the the performance seems to be a lot better than what it is. Now I do believe that in the update where we got this Enviro 400 with the ZF. Uh, that they've also modified some of the AI buses so that they use less of a, uh, you know, so that they, they're less resource demanding. You press space bar again. Oh, dear me. Twiddle you round. There we go. And of course, when the, uh, when the buses are less demanding, it means that we get a nicer journey, doesn't it? Crystal Palace. Oh, be careful! There's a speed camera there. I uh, I've yet to work meet, yet to meet. Sorry, a, uh, a functioning speed camera in Omsi Two. Not yet come across one. A light here for Brixton Academy. Ah, right, there you go. Don't take up the whole cycle thing. You were just. Uh, you were just ranting about how we should all be considerate to each other, so you parking your bus in the cycle space uh, is not going to help cyclist-driver relations. Off we go again. Now where do we need to be? So the three carries straight on. Do we stop here? Yes, we do. Route 3. I'm surprised nobody wants to get off, you know. Now, there's quite a few getting on, as always. You know when I said that I wanted the bus to be full? I, I didn't want it to be this full. You know, I wanted to have my cake and eat it, thank you very much. 3, 2... Crystal Palace. Ooh, an Enviro 200 in the nice go-ahead livery there going past. Is it London General or London Central? I can never remember. They're both go-ahead, but without being a bit closer, it's difficult to tell. But yeah, I definitely like the... Uh, ooh, what's that going over the bridge? Is that a, that a 465? Yes, it is. A couple of them. Very nice indeed. We'll just, uh, yeah, there we go. Are we going to be able to turn in? Yes, we are, without a taxi crashing through us. Yes, of course, Brixton Station is on the uh, on the southeastern line, isn't it? Out of uh, London, Victoria, Charing Cross. Yeah. You should know that. You should know that. I, I think I did know that, to be honest with you. So I would roughly say we're more or less halfway there by the time you get to Brixton Station. That's roughly halfway through the uh, through the Route 3. That doesn't mean you can go. Stay watching. It's good. I mean, I'm enjoying myself. Other than the fact this Enviro sounds a little bit odd.
Right, where are we now? I can never remember which stops where. It's a timing point and we want the middle stop. Fair dues. Very nice, are we ready? Yep, yeah. timing point has been achieved. Crystal Palace. So we're going round to the left, like the 432. We're sticking to the left, okie dokie. Oh, hang on, there's a bit of a bump here, so we'll slow down for that. Nope, you didn't slow Take down for that at stretch. all. Light here for Lambeth Town Hall. Are we are we all off? Yep, that'll do. Door shut. Off we go. Three, two, Crystal Palace. St. Matthew's Estate. So we're following the uh, the same road as the 432 at the moment. I can't remember at what point we branch off. Are you getting on, love? No, not a problem, but someone needs to get off, so we will still stop. You know, because we're a nice bus driver like that. Three, two, Crystal Palace. Oh. Again, the, the ZF very jerky when you set off, isn't it? Let me know, of course, if you've had similar experiences or if you've got a workaround. I mean, I'm trying when I'm accelerating to use different levels of throttle, you know, to see if it makes a difference. But it, oh, hang on, old woman. Sorry, guys, that's a bit of a uh, an abrupt stop, isn't it? There, on she gets. Hello, love. Do we turn left here? I think we turn left here. Yes, we do. The three and the N three. Go left. Two, Crystal Palace. I imagine that's not down there. It is down there. Well, fair dues. I wasn't expecting it to be, but it seems to be. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll whiz down here. Dalberg Road, Ephra Parade. Yeah, this is not 20 kilometres an hour, is it? And we don't stop there, because there's no little sign above it. Oh, hang on. You, you, what are you doing? That's, uh, that's very rude. That was my right of way there. You just came steaming down the inside. This young girl nearly didn't get a bus going past her today. Jump on, love. Thank you. Have we all finished getting off at the back there? Yeah. Three. And then I'd assume Three. that we're going round to the left here. Well, this is red pen territory for me. I've never been over this bit before. Ooh, bit of, uh, yeah. Hey, I like this bit, you know. With the uh, with the bumps and that. That's very good. Milton Road.
Hello, ladies. Welcome aboard. Yes, thank you. So obviously we've split off from the rest of the routes now because uh, the 432 doesn't obviously go through Tulls Hill. I don't know why we needed quite so many obviously in that sentence, but we did. Oh, hang on. Is this a this is a this is a bump? So we'll slow down for this. I never knew what a Lido was. I always thought it was uh, a supermarket, you know, like Lidl or Aldi. Because they always used to stop at Barton Lido on the Bodenham map. You know, and I always used to think that it was just a supermarket. But ever since Bus Simulator 18, you know, where they get on your bus and they go, Oh, I spend all day relaxing at the Lido. That Three. triggered something in my mind to think, Well, you don't spend all day relaxing at Sainsbury's, do you? Well, I imagine some people do. It's not my idea of a relaxing thing. So a quick Google search uh, led me to a Lido is a, a type of park. You know, where, where people do relax. So there we have it. Again, another little tidbit of knowledge for you that I didn't know up until recently. We always just called it a park. Sorry, not a park. A park. It's a park up north. You know, you have a bath, you don't have a bath. I mean, where's bath spa? Unbelievable. Bath spa, I think you'll find. Right. Are we getting on? Are we getting off? Yep, yeah, have we? We press the button. Yep, yeah, smashing. No, sorry, missed it now. Three, two, oh, go on then, just because there's loads of uh, cars dithering about next to us. If we don't get through these lights now, you know. Three, two, yeah, we have easily. So the 322 goes left. Brockwell Park. And that's where it joins us from, I think. I seem to remember going down past that big Hearn Hill station sign. So this is a timing point, so we'll sit here for 30 seconds. I think I lied. I think I said the 432 didn't go down through Tulse Hill, but it does. It's Hearn Hill, where we are now, that the, uh, that the 432 doesn't go down. And then we uh, we don't go through Tulse Hill on this bus. We take a slightly different route. We follow the uh, the route 201. You know, to the 201. We did that. That was the first route we did on Adam London. If you've not seen it, go back and watch the video, but I took a lovely little Enviro 200 through a hell of a lot of lag uh, between Streatham and Hearn Hill. Guernsey Grove. Although now that I'm driving it, I don't seem to remember it. You know, I don't remember bringing an Enviro 200 round here. I don't think for one moment that we didn't. I believe we did. I just don't seem to remember it. Yeah, we'd have probably taken that uh, that Prius's wing mirror off there. We should maybe drive a bit slower through. Uh... I mean, we don't need to rush. We're still running a little bit early and we're just plodding round. Off we go again. I'm just trying to think here, I'm really hoping that we don't come across that low bridge on the 201. Well we can't, obviously, can we? If we're, if we're following the signs for the Route 3 that only uses double-deckers, we're not going to come across that low bridge. I'm just thinking what would we do? And it was like, three, continue. I can't continue, I'm in a double-decker, we'll take the roof off. 
It'll be running along the seaside, before we know it, with city sightseeing plastered all over the side. There we go. You don't seem to get a jerky start with the ZF gearbox, you know, the, the three little jerks. You don't seem to get those if you floor it and put your foot down. Which uh, seems a little bit, you know, I, I don't want to drive everywhere foot to the floor because we have no need to. Is this a 201 coming the other way? A fellow a Bellio driver? Oh, we need to stop. Hold on. Stop at the bus stop and then admire the 201. Or the Enviro 200. Nope, he's gone past you. Why bother opening your front doors? You, you saw that there was nobody waiting to get on. Get it shut, quick. Three, two, Try again with your handbrake off. Palace. Thank you very much. Oh, a Route 3 coming the other way. Hello to you. Doing the uh, the infamous Stadium. bus driver wave Dulwich there. Park Road. A light here for West Dulwich Station. I don't want my passengers to start gossiping. You know, if we didn't wave to each other, they'll all be sat there thinking, oh my God, I wonder what they've done to upset each other. Right, so this is at Croxted Road. That's Croxted Road, even. Uh, so the Route 201 turns off to the right here to obviously go back towards Streatham through Tulls Hill. Whereas we bypass Tulls Hill now, straight down to Crystal Palace. Ah, sod the timing point. We're going to set these lights anyway, aren't we? So we may as well just uh, set off early. What I'm meaning to say is I just don't want this taxi to pull in in front of me. But he's... oh no, he's stopped. Just before he hit me. Ling's Coppice. Ling's Coppice. Sounds like a Chinese takeaway. Is anybody getting off? Nobody getting off, and there's nobody getting on, so we'll just uh, we'll slowly bypass that. Ildersley Grove. Oh, that's uh, that's a bit of a a mismatched road there. You saw the grass line in the middle. If you didn't, go back and watch it again. Crystal Palace. 
Now, is this guy waiting for the lights? I'm going to put my money on he's just parked on a double yellow line. Yeah, I imagine he is. Well, get off the double yellow line, you hooligan. Unbelievable. Some people just think they can do what they want, don't they? Oh, little bit of lag there, but we're, we're coping. Park Hall Road. Nobody for getting off. Jolly good. Well, do you know what? We'll be even naughty. Uh, even naughtier than usual. We've not put the handbrake on at the bus stop. Oh, could you imagine what the management would say if they knew we'd been, uh, you know, we'd taken such a risk. Three, two, Crystal Palace. Church approach. Just looking at the scenery, doesn't look like we're approaching a church, does it? Perhaps I'm cynical. Oh, maybe that's a church, but that might just be a chimney as well over there. Three, two, Crystal Palace. Yeah, I can't see a church at church approach. I think we've been lied to, you know. Or maybe we're just approaching the church and it's actually further up. South Road. No, church is gone now. Not approaching the church. Maybe we've gone past it. I'd, you know, I'd like to see the best in people. I'd like to think we're not being lied to there. So we'll... we'll oh no, church approach is there as well. Look. Oh dear me, this is all very confu confusing. Yeah, and very upsetting. You know, I, I was hoping to see a nice church. I do you like me architecture. Granted, architecture on OMSI is not really architecture, it's just blocky buildings, but there we go. It's not a timing point, so yet we're a minute early, but we're still going to go for it. Three, two, Crystal Palace. Gypsy Hill. Now I've heard of Gypsy Hill. Is this where we are we going to? Uh, oh, hang on, timing point. Right. Well, we can stop and collect our thoughts at this timing point. Yeah, I'm sure we've been through Gypsy Hill on another. Uh, Another bus, haven't we? On another route? Yeah, the, the 322, that goes through Gypsy Hill, doesn't it? Yeah, right. You see, I go on about blocky True. buildings. You know, I say, oh, there's no architecture. It's, you know, it's blocky buildings. I wonder if a new bus simulator is around the corner where we're going to sit back and look at OMSI. I mean, back in the day, Midtown Madness was just the the thing wasn't it and everyone played Midtown Madness and we, you know you did your online cruises with uh, it's, it's not what it sounds an online cruise you might think oh how how uh, how dirty nope online cruising on uh, on different maps but I mean now compared to OMSI you look back at that and you think oh why did we spend so much of our life on that it's it's terrible and I just wonder if maybe you know within the next few years there is a bus simulator around the corner which, you know, we'll, we'll all just be addicted to again. And we'll look back at OMSI and just think, God, can, can you believe that we ever played that? I just can't see it happening. Because I love OMSI so much. I mean, I've had OMSI for years and years and years and years and years now. I've had OMSI too since it first came out. What was that, 2013? I just can't imagine another bus simulator. I imagine there's one out there. 
you know, that's in development. And I hope there is, because, I mean, OMSI is not without faults, is it? Oh, I've had enough of this. Let's get the door shut and go. Yeah, OMSI's not without faults. You know, it's it's a 32-bit program. Which means that it can't handle as much as a 64-bit program. You know, it's that's a fact of life. And I don't think they're ever going to change that with OMSI. Do I think Lotus Simulator is the answer? Probably not. Dulwichwood Park, Kingswood Drive. Are we going up here? I think that's what the uh, the directions say. Yeah, I don't think that Lotus Simulator is the answer. You know, it might be if they start bringing OMSI two mods. You know, if they make them compatible. I've, I've not looked into Lotus to be honest with you, so I won't be able to tell you. I think I downloaded it and drove a tram, but there was no people and they didn't get on, and they didn't get off, and it was like just a loop. Thanks for that, Mr. Mercedes, for waiting there. Yeah, it was just a loop, so I, I never really, you know, I just said, oh yeah, can I have a refund? But it will be interesting to see what, uh, you know, what's around the corner in terms of bus simulation and where we're going to go next. But yeah, as well, especially with all the things that are coming out, either this year, next year, you know, Add On London's finally here. Of course it is. You know, you've got the Master Bus Failing Pack, the Renown by uh, Studio Polygon. You've got all the Studio Polygon buses and the uh, Master Switch buses. I just can't see OMSI going anywhere just yet, can you? I think it's here to stay for a good few more years. Don't change up gear. Don't change up gear. Ah, oh, it changed up gear. But it seems to be holding it. I've just looked at what speed we're doing. We really don't need to be flying up here, do we? We'll just get really far ahead of time and end up having to stop again. Is, is she getting on? You've got to want this one, love. We're the only bus that comes up here. Oh well, fair dues. If she doesn't want it, I'm not going to argue with her. Three, two, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace Parade, College Road. I'm just thinking then, I can't see where I'm going. Oh, hang on, the lanes are splitting off, left or right. There's no uh, there's no directional signs. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is. Where's it pointing? Oh, it's pointing right. Oh, well, I'm in the wrong lane now, then. Oh, crumbs. It's all right. The van was also in the wrong lane, so we can uh, we can rectify that. I think that this is the road into Crystal Palace, you know. Oh, I've just realised we've we've just gone whizzing past the timing point. Never mind. Why is there a timing point there? We've not gone whizzing past the the door is, you know, that's that's good stopping, I would say. I wonder why there's a timing point here when the bus station is just literally here. Do you reckon it's so that too many threes don't end up in the bus station at the same time? Ah, do you know what? What's a minute between friends? Let's go. I mean, it's not like anyone's going to get on there, is it, realistically? Well, they're not, are they? And anybody that did want to get on there, I'd just tell them to walk. Stop being so lazy. Finishes around the corner. Crystal Palace. So this is a set down for the three only. Get those uh, those rear doors open. And while we're here, let's just get it changed. 
destination change to Oxford Circus, because obviously we're going back, aren't we? No, we're not going back. Well, we're not going back in this video. I might drive back. Two. Crystal Palace. Are we, uh, what are we doing in terms of getting off, folks? Are we, uh, yeah, we're all still getting off. Jolly good. We're all off. Are we all off? Shall I check, uh, check upstairs? Yeah, all off. Sensational. Get you shut. I think despite the fact we're only turning left, you know, we still have to obey the, uh, still have to obey the traffic lights. Oh, it's green. Off we go. Uh, you are very much blocking the yellow, the yellow markings there, son, in your, in your taxi. Hmm, well, never mind. Now the three stops in the middle here, so I'm going to just park up behind this, uh, this jolly old route master. Well, the new route master, not the jolly old route master. That's uh, that's a different bus altogether. Oh, I appear to have parked inside the route master. It's all right. Crystal Palace bus station. There we go. It's been fixed. And the bus is off. Well, there we go. That's the route three. It's a lengthy route. I'm not going to lie. It is a lengthy route. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really do. This was the original route as well that uh, that they started in the South London project. Now that was a few years ago, wasn't it? Uh, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the route three. Probably won't do another one that lengthy. Well, until we do the N3, which is essentially the same route in the opposite direction. So uh, yeah, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of that. If you like the video, then click that like button. It helps me get noticed and then more people watch and I make more videos. Hooray! Everybody's happy, especially me. And uh, yeah, other than that, I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheerio, goodbye for now.